So hi everyone, myself Dr. Priya Shwet Bahu, Bashwet Bahu, working as uh, Professor and Head EC Department. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the lines of different lengths and uh, maximum impedance and minimum impedance, Z max and Z minimum. So here by selecting uh, a terminated line, by selecting a terminated line of suitable length, it is possible to produce the equivalent of a pure resistance or inductance and capacitance or for any desired combination. So by selecting the proper termination, we can design the inductor or capacitor or uh, a resistance whatever it may be or any desired combination or combination of any capacitor uh, inductor like that we can design any circuit like that. So here uh, the, the one of those combinations are so here the length of the line is if the length of the transmission line is less than lambda by 4 if the length of the line is less than less than lambda by 4 and if we short circuit the transmission line then the line acts as inductor then the line acts as a inductor again if the length of the line is less than lambda by 4 and if it is open circuited, then the transmission line acts as capacitor. If the length of the line less than lambda by 4, uh, when it is short circuited, it acts as inductor. When it is open circuited, it acts as a capacitor. If length of the uh, transmission line is lambda by 4, then uh, if we short circuit the transmission line, the circuit acts as a tank circuit. And if we open circuit it, if we open the transmission line, the transmission line acts as series resonant circuit. Then, if the length of the uh, transmission line is between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 and if we short circuit the transmission line, the transmission line acts as a, a capacitor and if we open circuit the transmission line, the transmission line acts as inductor. Then finally, if the length of the transmission line is uh, L is equal to lambda by 2, then if we open the uh, transmission line or if we short circuit the transmission line, then the transmission line acts as series resonant circuit or if we open the transmission line, the uh, transmission line acts as a tank circuit. So here depending upon the length of the transmission line and if we open a short circuit, then the circuit may behave as inductor or it may behave as capacitor or it may behave behaves as tank circuit or it may be behaved as some series resonant circuit. So always it depends upon the length of a transmission line and open or short circuit of a transmission line. And here uh, you can have the different combinations of a transmission line. If the length of the line is lambda, uh, L is lam uh, less than lambda by 4, so it is, uh, it is short circuited and the equivalent circuit is, it acts as an inductor, it is an equivalent circuit and the input impedance of a transmission line is, it is ZI is equal to ZZ0 into tan beta L, where beta is again a phase constant, we can have beta is equal to, beta is a phase constant or uh, in place of beta we can also use the attenuation constant, alpha is equal to uh, gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta where alpha equal to 0 for a good conductor then we can have gamma is equal to directly we can use the j beta j beta then uh, if the length of the uh, transmission line is less than lambda by 4 and it is open circuited then it behaves as a capacitor and the uh, input impedance of a capacitor is z is equal to minus j z dot into cot beta l minus j z dot into cot beta l similarly if the length of the line is uh, between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2, the equivalent circuit is it behaves as a capacitor and the input impedance is jz dot into tan beta L. And if it is open circuited, then it behaves as an inductor and the input impedance of a transmission line is z is equal to minus jz dot into cot beta L. And uh, we can have the uh, some other circuit, tank circuit. So when uh, the length of the transmission line is lambda by 4, it behaves as uh, the equivalent circuit is just like a tank circuit and the input impedance of a tank circuit is Z is equal to 2 Z naught square by R i R L, 2 Z naught square by R L or it is Z naught square by tan H alpha L where alpha, L, alpha is the attenuation constant. Similarly, if the length of the lambda is lambda by 2, lambda by 2, then also it behaves as a tank circuit, then the input impedance of a uh, circuit diagram is our transmission line is Z equal to 2 Z naught square by RL which is equal to Z naught square by tan H alpha L. Again alpha is a attenuation constant. So there are the different uh, lengths of the uh, transmission line. So depending upon the length it will behave as a different type of circuit diagram. Then uh, we will find the Z max and Z minimum where impedance maximum and impedance minimum. 
So here we know the uh, transmission line equation. So the input impedance of a transmission line is the input impedance Zn is equal to Z0 into 1 minus Z0 minus ZR by ZR plus Z0 into e power minus 2PL by 1 plus Z0 minus ZR by ZR plus Z0 into e power minus 2PL. But we know that the, the reflection coefficient K is equal to the reflection coefficient k is equal to here zr minus z dot by z dot plus z dot. So here, if you substitute the reflection coefficient in the equation, in the equation, then we have uh, z n equal to z dot into one plus. So here, I am finding the, I am assuming the a magnitude and phase of the reflection coefficient. Therefore, it is mod k is the magnitude of reflection coefficient and angle phi is the phase of reflection coefficient into e power minus two pi l by one minus mod k into uh, phase angle phi, phase angle phi into uh, e power minus 2 pi l. So here we can express the phase angle, uh, we can express the exponential form e power minus 2 pi l is equal to, it is minus cos 2 pi l plus j sin 2 pi l, just like uh, uh, e power minus theta, it is just like cos of cos theta plus j sin theta. And it is, it can be expressed as it is minus 1 or 1 into angle minus 2 pi l. So e power minus 2 pi l can be expressed as with a magnitude of 1 and with a phase angle of minus 2 pi L. So here if we add the uh, two phase angles, then we have input impedance Zn equal to Z0 into 1 plus mod k into uh, angle phi minus 2 pi L by 1 minus mod k into angle phi plus 2 pi L. So here uh, the impedance, the input impedance will be maximum at a distance, at a distance phi equal to 2 pi L. So here the phase angle, depending upon the phase angle, we can have the input impedance maximum or input impedance minimum. So here the distance phi is equal to 2 pi L or we can have phi minus 2 pi L equal to 0. From this we can find out the distance L is equal to phi by 2 pi. Then uh, we can find out the, in find the input impedance maximum or Zn maximum. Zn maximum equal to Z0 into, so here 1 plus mod k by 1 minus mod k. 1 minus, 1 plus mod k by 1 minus mod k. So here uh, it is nothing but the 1 plus mod k by 1 minus mod k is nothing but the uh, whole day standing wave ratio or simply we can denote the uh, whole day standing wave ratio as S. Therefore, the Zn maximum equal to S into S into Z0 where Z0 is the impedance, characteristic impedance, S is the whole day standing wave ratio. So along a line, uh, if we travel a distance of lambda by 4 from the point where the impedance maximum occurs, then we can have the minimum impedance. Hence, the input impedance will be minimum. Hence, the input impedance will be minimum if L is equal to phi by 2 pi plus lambda by 4. But uh, lambda is nothing but 2 pi by lambda. Um, in place of lambda here, I am writing phi, uh, lambda in place of lambda 2 pi by p, where uh, p is a propagation constant, where p is nothing but some propagation constant. Therefore, lambda by 1 by 4 into in place of lambda by uh, lambda, I am writing 2 pi, actually lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta, lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta. For here in place of lambda, directly I am writing lam, uh, 2 pi by p, where p is a propagation constant. Then the equation becomes L is equal to 5 by 2 pi plus 1 by 4 into 2 pi by p, 2 pi by p, which is equal to if you take LCM, uh, L is equal to 5 plus pi by 2 pi, or uh, 2 pi L is equal to 5 plus pi. So here uh, directly in place of 2 pi L, we can substitute the 5 plus pi. Therefore, the equation, the impedance will become the minimum impedance. Therefore, Z minimum equal to Z0 into 1 plus mod k into angle phi minus 5 plus pi by 1 minus mod k into angle phi minus 5 plus pi. So, phi phi cancel each other and here also phi phi cancel each other. Then angle pi is here and angle minus pi is here. Uh, angle minus pi is here. And angle minus pi in both numerator and denominator. Then we can have Z minimum equal to Z0 into 1 plus mod k into angle minus phi by 1 minus mod k into angle minus pi. Therefore, it becomes uh, 1 minus Z0 into 1 minus mod k by 1 plus mod k. But we know that the voltage standing wave ratio S equal to 1 plus mod k by 1 minus mod k. Or, so here we have 1 minus mod k by 1 plus mod k. Therefore, the Z in minimum or minimum impedance equal to we have Z0 by S. Minimum impedance equal to we have Z0 by S. So this is about the minimum impedance and maximum impedance and different lengths of a transmission line. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.